So BO6 just launched. I played the zombie mode. That was probably the first thing I played just because of how much of a zombie fan I am. I played both of the maps and did both of the Easter eggs. And just to get this out the way before the video actually starts, I do think that this year's zombies is actually pretty fun. It's more like an arcade uh, type of zombies. It's really meant to just have fun, turn off your brain and just play, especially the Liberty Falls map. And it's definitely a step up from previous CODs, definitely better than open world zombies, <laughs> Vanguard. I, I feel like literally anything at this point could top Vanguard. And it's definitely a step in the right direction, but there are still some flaws. And so the main purpose of this video is just to point out the good and the bad with the, the new zombies that just came out and hopefully improve the zombie mode. I know that this video probably doesn't get viewed a lot or it's probably not going to get that many views. But, you know, for the chance that, like, one of the devs see this or <laughs> the executive sees this. And I feel like it doesn't really make a difference at this point because there's a lot, you know, bigger content creators like Mr. Falafel Waffles or, like, you know, the people that actually de dedicate their whole channel to zombies complaining and making, like, you know, lists of things that uh, Call of Duty could do to make their zombies better and they still don't listen. But, yeah, I feel like as long as, you know, enough pe enough people band together and, you know, tell Treyarch what they really want or just, like, Call of Duty or Activision as a whole, they'd probably give it because at the end of the day, if they don't really care about the fans, they do care about the money. So I'll just get into the video. I will be going over the pros and cons of BO6 Zombies and just, you know, giving my overall, you know, review of... Okay, so for the pros, this definitely will cause a divide because a lot of, like, there's a lot of hardcore zombie fans that straight up don't like anything that BO6, uh, like, has came up with or any of the recent CODs. But I definitely feel like augmentations, like, a welcome... Like, I really welcome augmentations to perks, field upgrades, and ammo types because... Augmentation, it gives people, like, players more of an incentive to play, and I know that a lot of, like, the hardcore fans are probably going to be like, oh, you don't, you wouldn't need to incentivize your players to play the game if the gameplay was really fun or, you know, the zombie map was really fun or just the game is fun, and I know yeah, that is true, don't get me wrong, but there's no harm in just adding, you know, new additions to the game that will, like, make it to where you could survive better or just give more customization to the players, but... I definitely feel like if the, you know, zombie map, the core the core thing to get right is making the zombies fun, making the map fun, making the wonder weapons fun, the weapons very fun to play, make a really good system, especially a really good easter egg in a story, and you wouldn't even have to, like, give incentives for your players to play and they would still play the game, and that's very true with BO3 because, you know, the game's damn near 10 years old, or I don't know, it's probably past under it, I don't fucking know, I just know it's an old game, and people are still playing it till now. I've played that game since launch, and I'm still playing it now, but that's besides the point. So, another um, thing I really like, another pro, is definitely ammunition types. So, this is another divide. People really don't like anything new with uh, BO6, and I feel like they just hate all the new um, zombie CODs that are coming out, like the zombies for the new CODs. But I definitely feel like ammunition types are really good, because if, you, if you're going to be playing with the same formula, like Wonder Weapon, Pack-A-Punch... And just perks it's eventually gonna get old and that's why i feel like these new cods have been adding like every like just something new every cod because they feel like their uh, audience are like brain dead kids which it's kind of true when you're talking about like the whole of call of duty including like warzone but any ammunition types definitely if it's done right it would definitely be good it's uh, the closest thing i could compare uh, uh the ammunition types to is the repack a punch version of like any gun when you're playing BO3, like for example when you have dead wire, brain raw, or blast furnace, and you know the ammunition types actually have the same names. Or I'm just like kind of trying to copy the same effects that they have. Like in this game, there's dead wire, there's brain rot, and that's probably the things that they share in common. You know the names and I guess the idea of having different bullets that do different things and they randomly pop. But I feel like it's definitely weaker in this game. It feels like even when you have augment like augmentations on it, it still feels very weak. It doesn't really kill a lot. When you get past like round fifty, every like BO3 may like the Virgin knows that your uh repack bunch definitely carries you. Because no matter what round you get to, they usually still always kill. But in this game it definitely does not kill. It, like you feel like after round fifty, you're just doing no damage with it. So I definitely feel like it's it's definitely a good addition to the game. But it's kind of weak in this game, but I still like it, so I'm going to still put on a pro. 
uh, the pro part of the list because I'm gonna put like killing zombies towards like the con like you know your weapons being very weak at the con part of this video. So yeah, I'm gonna move on from ammunition type to uh, HUD customization. I feel like HUD customization is definitely also a really good addition, even though a lot of people were complaining about the HUD because it isn't zombified. It isn't like, and to be honest, a lot of the a lot of the cons or like a lot of the spec you know all the bad things about like bo6 comes from this game had four years to develop like just make a really good cod most cods don't have like four years of development and you know most of them have like half of that they have two years and you're telling me and all that time you couldn't just fix the hut to make it zombified or just make it give it a little bit more personality and a lot of the cons of this game really comes to like none of the maps really have cut uh personality but, you know, we're still in the uh, pro aspect of this video, so we're going to have to stick to pros now and just good things about this game. But, yeah, HUD customization is definitely really good. I feel like if they had more zombified HUDs, this would be even better because then you'd be, like, for streamers, they would be able to customize the way they want their screen to be and be able to put their uh, face cam wherever they want or just, you know, customize their HUD to their liking. There's not anything really bad, bad about it. It just gives the player more freedom. And then, yeah, that's basically it for HUD customization. The next pro I would go over is death animations. I really like death animations because it gives a little bit more to the game. Because now when you die, you're not just falling flat on your ass. There's actually an animation you go to. And, and you know, it's fun. It makes dying funner, you know. Usually when you get down, you're pissed. And in this game, you're pissed. But you're less pissed because you have something to watch that's kind of cool and kind of, you know, fun to watch. And it gives, like, a little bit more, I guess... I, I wouldn't say realism, but I can't really find any other word to say. Or dynamic, I guess, is when you die and you actually see your character dying, you're like, fuck, you know, I, I wish I survived. Maybe I wish I exfilled, did the Easter egg. But yeah, nonetheless, de death animations is a good add-on to the game. And I, I feel like if they made this, like, you know, I'm going to list the cons out. And I feel like if they fix all those cons, these pros would actually make the game, like, probably better than, you know, prime zombies. And then, I'm a, I also put fun, fun wonder weapons, but this is very specific on what wonder weapon I'm talking about. I really find the suck suck wonder weapon to be a lot funner than the one in Terminus. The Terminus map, the wonder weapon there is pretty like, it's, it's mid, it doesn't really kill, it's not really fun, it's literally you're shooting a laser beam. Like there's like CODs out there, futuristic CODs like Advanced Warfare, where they literally had beam weapons and even then it feels like you're not really playing with a cool ass gun and it feels the same way in this map the terminus one isn't that fun but the liberty falls ones is really fun the suck gun getting it everything about it is incredibly fun it actually feels like it kills it does a like it just it's just a fun gun to play with it, the, it like has unlimited ammo but it just has to cool down it stuns bosses this shit is actually such a fun weapon i really like the um wonder weapon of liberty falls and that's probably the best thing about liberty falls is the wonder weapon but that's basically it and i i feel like i shouldn't have i should have probably just said i wouldn't i wouldn't say fun wonder weapons i would say fun wonder weapon because so, the suck wonder weapon is probably the only good wonder weapon in bo6 and so that's basically it for um that pro <laughs> the only one fun wonder weapon is crazy and so the next thing i uh, like next pro is zombie related re rewards this gives even more incentive to play it like you would actually unlock certain skins specific to zombies like the um ray gun if you did delivery falls you got the ray gun skin and then on top of that they have like a whole they have a whole list of the you know skins you can actually bring into regular play and i know this isn't new this was all the way back in bo3 they had this shit but you know i still feel like it's fun and I'm not gonna lie, there is, like, this one skin, I forgot what it was called, but it was, like, kind of the Pack-A-Punch, it looks similar to, like, BO2 Pack-A-Punch, I, I just have to talk shit, I'm sorry, I know this is the pro aspect of the vid, but I have to talk shit right now, because how, how does the BO2 Pack-A-Punch, you know, skin look alike as a skin reward, and BO6 look worse than the one in BO2, it, it, it's insane, you guys are going to have to look. Maybe uh, it's something wrong with my eyes, but I definitely feel like the BO2 Pack-A-Punch looks so much better than the BO6 Pack-A-Punch skin. Sk like, this, I, I don't know how to make like make this make sense. I'll probably just pull it up on screen right now just to show you guys what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's basically it for that. But I, I do like, you know, 
then this should be in like every cod where you if you get skins on zombies you're able to use it everywhere because it's like it gives like the war zone chodes or just brings it just brings more players to zombies because if they want to get a certain skin that they really like but it's in zombies they're gonna have to play zombies and then you know when they play zombies they're like oh shit this mode's actually fun i'm gonna play this or the people that already play zombies are like, oh, I'm actually getting shit for playing zombies. But yeah, that's definitely really good. The next pro is definitely the movement. The movement feels so nice in this game. The Omni movement is actually so good for training. And, you know, especially when the zombies could do nonstop parkour. It feels very fun when you're able to do nonstop par parkour. And, you know, your, your, your character is a fucking demon. It, it, the speed on, like, the characters in BO6 actually feels insane. You feel a lot faster than previous CODs. That's one thing I really like about this new COD. Maybe in war, like uh, multiplayer, it feels like AIDS because everybody's running like Sonic. But definitely in this game, it's very fun. And so that's basically it for nice movement. There's not much to say. It just makes the gameplay a little bit more fun. Unlimited perks. This, I, I felt like I didn't really like this at first. But honestly, it feels a lot better. One thing I do have to say is that it kind of ruins like certain um, gobble gums. Because before in like BO3, you were only able to run four. And so that made you like think about what you actually ran. But now uh, it made you think about the perks you actually ran. And then when you actually got Perkaholic as the Gobblegum, you would actually nut yourself. Because when you had Perkaholic, you're like, oh shit, this is actually fire. Because now I can actually run all the perks. Or when you did an Easter egg for specific maps, you will get all the perks. And so it gives you more incentive to like get those items because you can only have a limited amount of perks. But in this game, you're able to have an unlimited amount of perks. So you're able to just literally buy everything back. And it does like buy every perk even though like you don't really like it. You could still buy it. And I don't know how to feel about this. I would just say I'm just saying it's a pro because there's like a huge argument or there's like a huge problem where if you have limited perks, you have to run juggernaut. So it's more like you have one uh, you have three actual like places to run like extra perks, you know, for example, because you always have to run Juggernaut like regardless. And then when um, Call of Duty takes out Juggernaut, everybody gets tight. So, I mean, unlimited perks is probably the way that I would have gone if I was put in that situation or maybe just up the number. But I, I really don't care. I feel like it's a pro nonetheless. It's pretty like it, it makes it where it's like less AIDS less like i guess dispute when it comes to the just perks alone and zombies and um probably the last pro is gobble gums are back i mean gobble gums was always a good addition to the game it feels a little it feels a little weak in this game because of like the unlimited perks i like mentioned but i still haven't played wall the gobble gums the game just came out so i'm gonna put it at pro then that's basically that's basically it for pros there's like a decent amount of pros but there's a whole lot of cons but even even though i said that i still think the game's pretty fun but i'm gonna give my overall review towards the end of the video so i'm gonna you know head towards cons to tell you guys what i really don't like about this game okay so for the cons i definitely would have to bring up the story the story is the main reason why i don't play any of the newer zombies that have came out and it's the main reason why i got into zombies because you know when i played zombies when i was young or like bo1 bo2 bo3 is like the story literally like intrigued me because when i was playing i was like wait what does this mean or i would like try to figure out how to do the easter eggs because i was actually intrigued with the story and like what the characters were actually saying because you know say what you want to say but honestly i feel like the characters and the newer uh cod zombies are just like boring they're actually so boring compared to the premise crew or the ultimus crew because the ultimus and premise crew were either more interesting more funny just like they they were just better as a whole even then i would still i would still say the berry crew is actually a lot more fun to like play with and play around than the fucking new crew that we play with now and you know before the story like no matter what crew you played as you know the ultimus crew permis buried crew even the mob of the dead you generally feel like you're the only ones alive because that's how the story was made it was made to make you think that you're like the last like last few survivors especially with the premise crew it's like you're trying to like completely get rid of zombies as a whole and you're the only ones alive and buried was generally you were the only ones alive and the only reason why you were staying alive was because rick Toffin was using the shit out of you and then mob of the dead you know it was like purgatory, so you you generally were all dead, either way. But um, that's besides the point. You always felt like 
It just had a different atmosphere. You actually feel like you're playing zombies because you're the only, like, motherfuckers alive. And then when you're playing, like, most of, what the barrier, uh, mo- most of the story in the Barry Crew, the whole world was destroyed. And it, was just, it just made the atmosphere a lot more fun and just made it look cooler. Like, the maps, like, I know, like, a lot of the Barry, like, Barry Crew, like, a lot of their maps get a lot of shit. But honestly, I don't think they were, like, that bad. Well, some of them were just probably not fun to play, like play in, but definitely the idea and just how the map looked was definitely very fun. And definitely the Buried map as a whole, this is where the vibe, because a lot of people, I know a lot of people don't like Buried. I'm one of the people that really liked Buried. But yeah, th- that's basically it. The The story now just really, like, I don't know if I got it to a T, so, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like fucking the whole world's alive and it's like you've really just a crew just dealing with outbreaks dealing with outbreaks dealing with outbreaks and it's like the whole mission is like samantha like samantha maxis is like fucking ultra turn with like ether energy and they're trying to get access to the dark eth like dark ether or close or whatever i i can't really understand the story because it sounds like the same fucking shit it, it really like to me it doesn't really make sense and it's like a bunch of crystal monsters and then fucking two, four, dis- like, bro, nobody played Vanguard, but I'm pretty sure the story about Vanguard was like, there's, uh, you know what, I'm not going to even try to explain it here. But yeah, the whole, the world is like basically fine. It's basically Russia and America fighting over who controls the dark ether or like who like has control of the zombies It's very fucking stupid. And it's like basically a three man team. It's like there's the USA and then there's Russia and then there's the zombies uh, the dark ether and it's like they're all fighting for fucking control i guess and it just makes it feel like okay and the world's not really endangered uh, the fucking characters like they're boring as shit they're not dyna- like they they don't it, it's boring i like i'm I, I was trying to watch before i made this video i watched i swear twice i watched a fucking storyline video for all of the new recent cards and it still was boring as shit i couldn't pay attention through all of it but yeah, the story is just not good. I feel like this is the reason why a lot of people don't play this at all anymore. I like the zombie mode that much. is because the story is fucking shit. They have to like give it a revamp completely. I like I know that this kind of ties in with the like ending of BO4. But still, this shit's low-key ass. I feel like it needs a full reboot. Or like <laughs> this crew or this fucking universe needs to get fu- wiped absolutely wiped and just changed characters and changed story because the story is not it chief it's like zombies and crystal monsters that's the i could summarize it in literally one sentence zombies crystal monsters that's it and then uh that's enough for the story i really don't like the story i feel like a lot of people don't like the story but i'm gonna move on to ability to change operators the, and you know boring main cast this is i'm gonna put them both in the same like category it, it just like I know that they wanted to be able to change operators because it means more money, but holy shit. And I, some people are like, oh, but you could play as the main cast. No, no. You know, you want to know why that's bad? Because the main cast is shit. The main cast is boring, right? And you're like, oh, that's actually pretty good because uh, you could play other operators that are actually fun to play with. Then that fucks the story because it's like you're playing the story, but you're not playing with the actual characters in the story. So the fucking uh, the voice lines don't mean shit. It just, it just destroys the story because the whole point of, like, when you played BO1, BO2, BO3, like, there was, like, your characters were talking with each other to try to figure out what's going on or they will get their input on what they think is right to do or wrong to do or how they interacted with the previous cutscene, with the actual cutscene, or what situation they're in as a whole. When you're putting boring main cast characters into the zombies, it, 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 like, nobody wants to play it first. Second fucking if you also add the ability to change your operator nobody's gonna want to fucking play the boring ass characters and what does that do it makes it to where the story actually doesn't fucking matter the story literally doesn't matter at all it's like your characters are like it's like woods talking to mr bunny man oh the the zombies are scaring me and then the bunny fucking doesn't say say shit it it really like i don't know it it really doesn't make sense to me i like i know they did that for a fucking cash grab and it really plays into each other because it's like play as a boring cast or just buy an operator and play as that operator. And then that that's like even more detrimental because the story is already ass. And what they're doing with this is just making it more ass or just make it like less engaging and less like the character could interact with the story. So that's why I really don't like 
uh, that that's definitely a really big con. They have to switch that. They have to either switch the story, switch the main cast, or very likable characters. I don't know what the like. I, I'm not the game designer, but those are definitely some very good tips. I feel like if they fix, a lot of people will probably come back to zombies, or they would actually have a fan base for zombies again. But um, the next next con I'm talking about is literally false. Holy shit! This wouldn't be so much of a con if they. If they didn't have four years. If they didn't have four years and had two, it'd still be a shit map. Regardless, people would still complain about Liberty Falls. But because they had four years, they released two maps. And these two maps are fucking disgusting. It will, Terminus is not that bad. Liberty Falls is a snore fest. I'm telling you, Liberty Falls is not zombified at all. That I, I could literally walk out right now and I swear my neighborhood looks like that. I'm playing... I wa- the map looks like what I walk out to. That's basically what it is. But yeah, the the map is boring. The Easter egg for it. Oh my god, this shit was so ass. You you want to know how ass the Easter egg was? The only fun part was getting the sucker gun. Other than the sucker gun, the game it was so fucking boring. I shit you not. Me and my brother compete completed the Liberty Falls right, and it gave you the option to exit or continue. You want you want to know what I did? I continued because I thought. That when you press continued, you could carry on with the Easter egg, and maybe the next part that I had uh, they had coming up was a lot harder. I didn't know I fucking completed it. I le- I genuinely didn't know I completed it. I was like, wait. I was like, oh, let's continue. We we could definitely do the next part of the Easter egg. And there was nothing to it. It's literally you, you get turned into fucking ghost people for two seconds, and that's it. That's it. That's literally. It, there wasn't any like crazy cool fa- boss fights. There wasn't like any cool crazy animations. Four motherfucking years. Four years to make this shit. This Easter egg. Holy fuck. I, and I know the Terminus one's actually like pretty good in comparison. But even the Terminus one is like. That's that's all I could really give the Terminus one. And the Terminus one has a, a, a fucking boring ass wonder weapon too. So it's like, Liberty Falls. Gets a good wonder weapon. Terminus gets a shit wonder weapon. Liberty Falls has a shitty ass Easter egg. Terminus actually has a decent Easter egg. It's like they, it's like one big piece of pile of shit for you and one big piece of pile of shit for you. Deal with it. And then yeah, th- there's not much to say. Four years and that's what they they're able to make. I'm not gonna lie, everyone shitting on call uh, like this ex- primarily because they had four years to do it. It's like, where did, where did the four years go? I don't see four years. Like, fucking, the HUD isn't even, like, zombified. It's like, okay, then I expect the story and the fucking gameplay and the maps to be amazing. And they're not. So, for four years, what were, like, were we having a circle jerk in the back room of the, like, Call of Duty studio? I Like, I really don't know. And, you know, I'm gonna stop ranting about that because I, I think I could make a whole video about, like, the Easter eggs in this game. But, yeah, Pack-A-Punch is the next issue pack a punch is fucking useless pack a punching three times is definitely definitely annoying because it's like you pack a punch once you make your gun better a little bit better literally uh, literally allows you to kill for three rounds and then you're gonna have to pack a punch it again you pack a punch it again another three rounds where it's kind of useful and useless and then you pack a punch it a third time actually starts killing shit then when you get past round like 50 it's useless again. The gun does not fucking kill for shit. And the ammunition type is very fucking weak. To where it doesn't do infinite damage. So you feel you're like you're shooting at fucking zombies for years. And when there's non-stop fucking zombie bosses coming on your cock. And they're also scaling. It makes it AIDS. It literally makes it AIDS. You're just shooting non-stop and it just won't kill. And then some people are going to be like. Oh you just don't like when zombies is hard. No. It, it, it just makes it frustrating. Because I survive but fucking guess what i have to use non-stop i have to use score streaks because the gun sucks so much dick it's like it definitely it's like obsolete it's like throwing marshmallows actual like just i feel like shooting a fucking gun with a marshmallow in it has more uh, like is more of effect than pack a punching the gun three times and staying around 50 the best way i can compare it is literally having a marshmallow and throwing it at somebody it's it would do the same damage but yeah, the guns and yeah, the pack a bunch is definitely useless. And to bring me next to my next point, punk pack a bunch is useless, right? Most of the guns feel weak as shit. Like all the weapons are useless except for the S A S G. Like bro, I remember I, I hate comparing this back to B O three, but B O three is definitely the best thing to compare it to, because fucking B O three was low key prime. 
the you would be able to play with the um Dingo was destroying the fucking Drake on sniper was destroying the VMP was good for point collection like there like there was always like decent guns to use plus all the wonder weapons they had was always really good or most of them were, were really good and you know it didn't really feel weak you always felt like you were killing and then repack a punch was also another really good thing because even if your gun wasn't killing your repack a punch fucking augmentation would kill and this game augmentations are really weak so you're really not fucking killing shit the only thing that could really could kill in high rounds is maybe the suck gun and that's when liberty falls and who wants to survive all the way to round 50 and liberty falls <laughs> like i know i don't and then that brings me to my next point oh well and that's it for most of the guns feeling weak most guns need to get buffed or something because that shit is ass same special zombies this is so annoying uh, the, like the same special zombies is like no matter what map i play i'm dealing with the same fucking zombies i know there's like a little difference like in liberty falls they have the ma like the malgua the three-headed malgua or some shit and then in in um terminus they have the amalgamation where the, like it's a guy with the a lot of arms a lot of heads but everything everything between both of them are basically the same except for the, like liberty dose too and they both have the manglers they both have fucking regular zombies vermin the terminus has flying bugs sure and that's basically the difference i feel like i'm playing the same shit like keep them like manglers and terminus and keep like the malguas and a vermin and fucking uh liberty falls there's not much to say about it uh i'm gonna like that's probably the least that's the thing i probably care about the least and you know with the fucking tiers of guns and shit this brings me to my next con mystery box feels useless as well <laughs> the mystery box feels useless as well because it's like why would i ever use the mystery box to get any like literally every other gun in the game sucks so much balls except for as asg so it's like why would i ever use the mystery box to get literally every weapon every weapon in the mystery box sucks massive balls when i could literally just make a loadout with the S asg and it will be a whole lot better than whatever i could get off the mystery box and this is so true because all you have to do is, especially when there's like tiers to weapons, like uh, white tier, blue tier, green tier, fucking purple tier, uh, legendary tier. The thing is that like, the, I guess the incentive is hit box so you could get a, a higher rarity gun. But why would I need that when I could just go to the arsenal and just upgrade my uh, gun that I got out from loadout? It literally makes it to where you start up again with a loadout, you're probably going to finish the game with the loadout if you made a really good gun. And, you know, the ASG is probably the only good gun in the game, so that's all you're going to be using. And then someone's probably fucking nutting. Um, sure, but you can get the ray gun out the box. The ray gun sucks balls. The ASG still out damages the ray gun too. So the wonder weapon sucks balls, especially in Terminus. I feel like the shotgun does a lot more damage than the fucking wonder weapon. I don't know. Tell me, like, I don't know if I'm wrong, but honestly, the ASG feels like the best weapon. I still haven't seen any other weapon that comes close to it. Every time I play with any other assault rifle, it feels actually dog shit. It's insane. And then this brings me to my last point. Shield, uh, shields, like they don't have shields in this game. And you see, I don't really care about the armor. Like the armor, like I could take it or leave it. Honestly, it doesn't make a difference to me. But I feel like the reason why people really always like shields more is because shields always gave more character to the game. It always made a map feel different. It gave an extra thing for someone to do that was almost mandatory, but they didn't mind doing it because it was low-key fun. Like, I have built the Origins fucking shield maybe 80, like, more than, more, way more than 100 times now. And I still don't get bored of making the shield because I like the shield. I like the aspect of the shield. And depending on what map you're playing on, this shield looks different, plays different, has different effects. Like, when you're playing uh, Shadows of Evil, you're able to just fucking rush through like everything very fucking fun and i know like i don't want to compare it to bo4 but bo4 had the blazing bull with the nine map uh i don't wait i think it was a nine map but yeah basically you're able to mix and match the shields and they all had their own like you know unique abilities and their unique looks and that gave the map a little bit more life but yeah that's basically it for my last con there's definitely a lot more cons but you know if i was gonna go over every con in this video this video would be like, it would probably be over by tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to be so serious. But that's basically it for um, the pros and cons. So I'm going to give you guys my overall review. I know it sounds like I really don't fucking like this game at all with all the cons I gave it. But nonetheless, I actually kind of enjoy this game still. 
and uh, i think that has m like most okay before i give my overall review i have one more con that is definitely like very very important to uh, this video and probably another reason why i don't like it uh, i forgot to include it is loadouts loadouts are so annoying i basically talked over it basically if you have a good loadout you literally don't need any other gun you literally don't have to hit box you don't really have to wall by you don't really have to do shit you just start off with the best gun in the game and this game is also very fast paced, which people might like or might not like. I don't really like it because the thing is that when you start off with a pistol on the map, it allows you to observe the map, the, uh, like the zombies come slow, like it ramps up. It's like you start off slow and then like those fucking uh, uh, snowballs into like nonstop zombies chasing you. That always like felt like really fun to me. You know, I really, I, I always really like that. And it's like, if you're trying to do an Easter egg or a speed run or try to do a specific challenge, usually the first round is the one that matters the most because you could get a lot of shit on the first round if you point conserve or, you know, do everything right. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the, the map, like when you start up Terminus or Liberty Falls, you feel like you're already, like you just joined a game. You learn, That's probably the best way to describe it. You feel like you joined a game, like mid game, that's... That's basically all I could say about it. It feels like you joined mid-game, and that's what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to give my overall review. I know it sounds like I fucking hate this game with my life. But honestly, with all the recent cards that came out, this is definitely a step up. This is definitely a step in the right direction. They still have a lot more things to fix with, like, zombies to make it better again or just make it good. But, um... There's not much to say. I, I still enjoy the game. There's definitely a lot of cons about it. There's definitely a lot of things I don't like about it. But if I were to, you know, rate this game out of one out of like one out of ten, I would give like like I would give like the prime cards like BO2, BO3, BO1. I would probably give BO3 like a ten out of ten or like nine out of ten. BO2 definitely like an eight to nine, and then BO1 probably like a good eight. I would give this maybe like a five, maybe a six. Like, don't get me wrong, that doesn't sound like high, but definitely recent CODs, I would have uh, rated them all, like, ones or twos. Like, all of them were actually dog shit. This one is definitely, like, a five or six. Definitely, definitely a step up. N not up there yet, but, you know, what I think, uh, like, a tweaks to, like, weapons doing more damage or just making augmentations a lot better. This could just definitely just be fun, just playing, like, zombies. Not, like, if you ignore the, like, story being shit and, um... You know, you know, m more maps, more wonder weapons. The, a lot of the cons in this game could be fixed within this game, honestly. And that's a bit like, like the way I see it is this game has a good like thing going for it. It's pretty fun to play with. And like the gameplay overall is kind of fun. All they have to do is like tweak the damage maybe. And then when the DLC maps come out, make like more wonder weapons and make them actually good. And then, you know, they got themselves a pretty like decent COD, like COD zombies, even if the story isn't that good. But that's basically it for the video. If you guys agree, disagree with the video, or if you guys want me to make more zombie content, you know, please drop a sub, not like activate notifications because uh, I don't really make zombies content. But if I see that there's not like a lot of people li that like my zombies content, you know, I'll I'll make more. I, like I actually enjoy Call of Duty zombies, and I wouldn't mind playing you know these shit zombies because I know nobody really wants to play them. But yeah.